I think the thing that makes the case method the most powerful for the students is that they're engaged. What I like about it is the students are interested and they kind of take over the class. It's fun, it's active. Dean Donham was a very influential person in the creation of this field in which I've been teaching. He brought to the school this deep interest in trying to figure out how to improve human relationships. One of the things that certainly was a hallmark of the courses they taught about human relations and organizational behavior early on was the importance of listening. And that, I think, is a very important skill. We still emphasize it in talking to our students. You know, management is not just giving orders. It's also understanding the people with whom you're leading. And the best way to understand what's on their mind and what they're trying to do and what their problems are is to listen to them. The Dashman case has always been a significant case. I think it provides the students with a problem which they don't anticipate running into. The real problem at the, at the root of that case is the president hires this new guy to come in and do a better job of purchasing and coordination, but he doesn't ask the people who were there before whether this is going to help or not help. The executives involved, including the, the, the president of the organization, don't really worry too much about what's going on. They don't listen to each other. They just kind of assume if they give an order, it'll happen. What the case is all about is why there's nothing happening. You have a case, okay, and the case has certain facts in it, like the Dashman case did. The students then jump from the case to their own experiences, and they tell you about that, and how it was different, how it was similar, and how they reacted to it. And then somebody else raises their hand and begins to talk about, well, I, I reacted to that differently than she did, and this is what happened to me. And you learn a lot about them, and they learn a lot about themselves and about each other. And it's that learning about each other, I think, which really enriches the learning experience. It teaches the students to look beneath the surface of what's going on, to ask themselves this question. You know, what is that person really thinking? What is that person really feeling? How can I respond in a way which will move the situation in a positive direction? The students are teaching each other, and what we're trying to do is to facilitate that process. And I think one of the things we, t we should be trying to do is encouraging the students to keep talking. And, and, and listening. <laughs>